morning everyone, Leuraku here from Raining Islands just off the coast of Madagascar. It's my last weekend here and today we decided with my dad to drive around to try and find some tropic birds, maybe some noddies, a lot of other, maybe some petrels. Just drive down the coast, we found nothing. We just drove around, ate a very nice Buddha bowl, but it's one of those days where we're just nothing happening. And uh, on the way back to the house, I decided to just check the little path, literally like 40 meters from the gates. And here we are surrounded by goats and tropic birds just passing straight at us just above them so i'm trying to film them but it's a bit hard with 600 prime like 300 times two handhelds not the easiest but yeah. anyway i'll try and show you guys why we what we are capturing at the moment so i'll let my dad put that camera down in a second and use his camera to take some photos as well and try and yeah share what we are photographing now and i'll come back in a second after i show some photos and videos and talk a bit more about how we photographing them So as usual with wildlife photography, pretty much two minutes after the last piece, last piece of camera, the birds were gone. They're probably just in front of the house right now, but that's the way it is. We still got a few good shots, I think. I might have to get one or two seconds of video. It's really hard handheld like that for birds that fly around. But um, yeah, here comes the, I guess, the tips and tricks sort of stuff. With white birds like that, you really have to be careful with the exposure on the, the white feathers. It's really easy to overexpose for that. So it's always safe to be underexposed when photographing birds with white feathers because you want to try and keep as much detail as possible. So we're both shooting Perch Priority 800 ISO F7, F8. It's a great sort of like combo for birds in flights. And it works quite well. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's a really good combo for um, of settings for uh, birds in flight. So now there is nothing left, so we'll go on our way because just before we left the coast, I spotted two petrels, and the wind was starting to pick up. So with a little bit of chance, I can make another video about barrow petrel. 